Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, Microsoft has added something that will be interesting for Windows 11 users. Um, you know, one of the biggest problems with Windows 11 when it actually crashes on startup is a lot of people don't know how to go to either the recovery tools available in Windows and where you could try several things and have maybe um, a working computer again. And so Microsoft is going to make it easier now with the add of a new feature. So right now, if you go to your settings, go into the uh, Windows updates and uh, go into the advanced options, uh, in recovery, you have the standard options, you know, fix problems without restarting PC, stuff like that. Uh, it's not necessarily always easy to get through that. Here is the advanced startup. So if you click restart now, this is will actually go and start your computer and the advanced startup and you can change settings and things like that. But the thing is, it's missing an easiest way possible. And Microsoft has now added and the latest insider rings of uh, the beta ring a quick machine recovery. So when this is turned on, if your device fails to start, we'll try to fix a problem with device recovery solutions. It will actually use the cloud, so we'll connect to the web and try to fix it from uh, Microsoft server, sometimes meaning it can actually download um, parts of Windows that it needs to fix to see if it can fix things or even just go back with previous settings uh, if a device driver, for example, crashes your system, things like that. So um, there will be this page that is supposed to help out. Uh, how good will it be? That's, that's the other story. But at least they're trying to make it um, a better solution, an easier solution. And this all has to do with the famous CrowdStrike problem that had crashed so many PCs. And uh, Microsoft had decided that it wanted to, be, to do a new, um, you know, resiliency type um, project where if something like that happens again, the quick machine recovery will go online, check what's wrong, remove or fix what's wrong, and then reboot your system. And this is in uh, a way a easy solution or hopefully it will be that will make your pc back online again only after several minutes rather than having the tech guy come over to fix it so we'll see what happens next and we kind of expect this to appear probably in 25h2 uh, for windows 11. if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching